Today I want to show you my new fast wireless AFR gauge, why I switched from my other one, and a couple of cool features that this one has that the, my old one doesn't. So this kit comes with a new wireless fuel meter module that connects up to a brand new wideband O2 sensor that's included in the kit, plus a new bung to go into the exhaust for the O2 sensor. Relay harness, everything you need is included in this kit. What's not included in the kit is a way to monitor the reading from the AFR gauge, and I'm going to show you how that's done right now. Now, the coolest part of this wireless setup is the fact that it is run by an app on your phone. It's either Apple or Android, and you can live monitor the readings from the AFR gauge without anything attached to a, a new gauge in the vehicle or a a separate standalone type of gauge that you just do for tuning. This makes it nice because it's connected wirelessly. You can turn on your phone whenever you want or turn on the app whenever you want. It'll even read an AFR or Lambda, and you get a nice little bar graph down at the bottom to follow the trend of it. Works on about a 20-second um, table down there at the bottom. There is no way to data log this. Um, one of the little downfalls with it, but... Honestly, for this type of thing, you know, just a basic uh, view to, to do some tuning on, um, data logging is really not that important. I guess if you want to do some data logging, you know, you could do it um, through the computer if you're uh, running an EFI system or what. But for a carburetor guy, this works out pretty well. Now, the settings has a couple of different things in it. There's a target AFR in there. You can set that. You can set it to the number of O2 sensors that you have. I have the single sensor kit. You have a screen where you can turn on or off the auto connect to the O2 sensor, meaning you can fire it up whenever you turn the app on uh, or you can manually turn it on. You also get a nice little diagnostic screen which shows you the voltage going to the sensor, the temperature of the sensor, which is important because if you're reading on a cold sensor, you're not going to get a very accurate reading. So it's nice that they show you that. They show you the runtime. Very, very nice little uh, piece to have here because it will help you when you get into the tuning process, verify everything's working right, and make sure that your O2 sensor is up to the correct temperature. You also get a nice screen here to select the type of fuel that you're using. So if you're just using regular pump gasoline, it'll set it to a 14.7. If you're using diesel, it sets it to 14.5. Methanol, natural gas, uh, E85, everything's in there. So it's kind of a nice little deal to have that pull-down menu because it'll automatically set your target AFR based on the type of fuel that you select. I can tell you from having used this on a car already that the O2 sensor and the app, everything reads fairly quickly. If you hammer the throttle, you can watch the AFR drop almost instantly. Um, very, very quick. Very, very nice reading. I don't know how they got the, the app to read as fast as it does through the wireless, but with Bluetooth, as long as it's connected, it, it reads very, very well and very, very quickly. That's for sure. So wiring up the wireless fuel meter is fairly simple. There's just a couple of wires there that you got to deal with. You got a key on, uh, s switched power. Um, you've got a ground. Uh, you've got an RPM signal uh, out of the coil um, or attack output from the coil. Um, you've got a signal output um, for the ECU uh, or a data logger or a gauge if you want to do that separately. Um, but weather pack connector on the harness and then, you know, the other uh, connections you want to make, you can certainly, uh, you know, hardwire those in and, and uh, seal those up. But uh, very simple on this. Um, the Bluetooth connection is pretty easy. Um, the instructions have uh, how that works. But once it's, uh, you know, tied to the uh, your phone app is tied to the uh, uh, meter, it's fairly simple, fairly quick. I think it just takes just a couple of seconds uh, and then it'll power on and, and uh, connect to the O2 and, and it reads fairly instantly. So it's, it doesn't, it's not a very long process, but uh, uh, it certainly works out fairly well. And, and like I said, the app is fast. The sensor works fast um, through Bluetooth is very, very quick. So you're, you start reading almost instantaneously when you power up the app. But uh, um, wiring up this is very simple. It takes 20, 30 minutes and you're done. 
Now this kit also comes with a Bosch wideband O2 sensor. It's the LSU 4.9 series. So it's very, very quick, very, very long lasting, very, very dependable, very accurate. Um, it's heated, so it, it heats itself. Um, very, very good O2 sensor. Um, and obviously with the kit, um, as expensive as this one is, you certainly want the best. Um, also, it comes with, a, like I mentioned earlier, a new uh, weld-in bung to go into the exhaust. The only thing the kit doesn't have, which you may want to buy if you decide that you're not going to run the O2 sensor or leave the, uh, the sensor and the wireless uh, connection hooked up all the time, is a plug for the bung, which you can get off of you know, just about any website. I'll, I'll leave, try to leave a link down below to one of those as well, but if you're not going to run it in there all the time, you'll just plug up that bung, and then when you're ready to pop the O2 sensor in, you can just pull it out and throw the O2 and the wireless, connect it back up again. And that's essentially the basics of the kit. Now, like I say, I've really wanted a wireless AFR for quite a while. My last one kind of died on me anyway so it was time to upgrade to something new so um, certainly the wireless function was the biggest key uh, feature that I wanted out of this and you know just having all the other nice little functions within the uh, you know the app is uh, made it kind of nice so you know again I, I've used this uh, on one vehicle um, this one's going to get permanently mounted into the Chevelle and then I'll keep one on the side for as a you know diagnostic tool for for you know anything else that I'm working on. So for sure, you know it is a little bit expensive when you do the single uh, O2 or a dual O2. With this this one is also capable of, but it is well worth what you get out of it. Um, like I say, the the wireless function to me is is everything. And, you know, AFR gauges are AFR. I mean, I can, you can permanently mount one in the car, but, you know, the nice thing is, is is having it connected to the phone makes it a little bit easy. I can, you know, sit in the driver's seat, monitor it. I can be underneath the hood tuning and use it as well, which I plan on doing. And, and that to me is just priceless. So having that ability to be very flexible where I use the gauge and, and being mobile with it. Um, that, that to me is, is like I said, it's worth everything. So certainly if you've got any questions on this AFR or any AFR gauge, uh, don't hesitate, uh, ask those questions down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, certainly happy to answer anything on this new fast unit that I'm working with. So, um, very eager to get it into the Chevelle, but I wanted to show this to you separately. So you knew what the pieces and the components are of the full kit so you can make a decision on whether you want to buy one of these or not. But certainly if you're doing any type of tuning, um, seat of the pants stuff works a little bit, but if you want to get it really dialed in, you know, doing it with an actual AFR gauge is the only way to do it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, if you got something out of the video, you thought it was cool, please leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that when you guys do that. And then, like I said, if you got any questions, leave them down below and I will uh, answer all of them that I get. So we will talk to you guys on, uh, see you guys on the next video.